Hi, um, so we went around to all the places where you can spend your flex dollars and reviewed them all for you. And that is the video that you are about to see. So every location, the price, health benefits, all that good stuff. So go check it out. Okay, hi, welcome to the food blog for word class. Um, we're trying all the places where you can spend your flex dollars. Yeah, we are. So number one was Subway, because that's where Ashley wanted to go today. Um, I personally am not a big fan of Subway. I also have no clue how much this cost me, but yeah, they did not you the can price. spend your flex dollars here. I think it's <laughs> one of the like healthier options, I think. I don't know. We're two updates on that at the end of the vlog. Um, it smells really good every day. It does. It does smell good, like in this little dining area. So it's good. Cool thing got Chick fil A. We'll be going there later. Um, just but not flex yeah, dollars. <laughs> but this is the start of the food vlog. So you can spend your flex dollars at Subway. I think most people know what Subway is, so I don't think I need to be that informative. What'd on you get, Subway. Megan? I got ham and cheese on bread. That's because, all you got? Yeah, I was trying to replicate my Jimmy John sandwich. <laughs> that, no wonder you don't like Subway. <laughs> um, so, yeah. You get ham anyways, and cheese? this is what's happening. I get okay. ham and cheese. I got That's chicken, bacon, ranch, ranch cheese, oh. toasted. Okay. Yummy. <laughs> okay. All right, well, this is Subway. You can spend your flex dollars at Subway. All right, peace out. Vlog. We are back at it again, eating with our flex dollars. So today we're at Taco Bell. Um, yeah, and it is, I think most people know Taco Bell exists, and you can spend your flex dollars there. But it's here, you can, in case you didn't know. Um, back at Ashley, and, ooh, I don't know what those are. Uh, what did you get, Megan? Yeah. Cinnamon twist. Yes, and in a cheesy roll-up. So this is definitely one of the less healthy options on campus. So if you're looking for health food, don't come here. But if you're looking for greasy Mexican food, you can come here. Um, but Taco Bell, it's a cool place. All right, hey vlog, welcome back. Part two of today. Um, today we're at Auntie Anne's. Well, not this is the second thing today, I don't know. Um, so I think we both got cinnamon pretzel nugs and Ashley got salty pretzel nugs, but I also have like full on pretzels and like pretzel hot dogs. I don't know. They have lots of stuff. But if you're looking for a healthy option, this is not it. This is <laughs> pretzels. Like soft pretzels are not healthy for you. So, you know, fun fact. Um, but it's not that expensive. I got a lemonade and pretzel nugs. It cost me six dollars. So I think it's four dollars for like small pretzel nugs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. But um oh and we're in the student center. That is key information. You guys need to know where it is. Show them them. Over there. So yeah, and that's where we are, eating Auntie Anne's pretzels. So, all right. Hey so. vlog, today we are at Intermezzo, this place here. So <laughs> it's located in like Patterson Office Tower. Um, so I think a lot of people like know it's here, but I don't think they come. Like we've never been, even though I've known it's here it's so for cute. a bit. It smells it's delicious. Honestly, it's really like cozy in here. I'm mm -hmm. very happy. I've already started eating my sandwich, so I got ham and Swiss plus like juice and a dessert and it cost me like $11 so not too pricey yeah. here. I got this full plate of quesadilla and a bag of chips for nine bucks. Yeah so not too bad. They have like healthy options and like some non-healthy options so they've got like a good mix of stuff. They have fridges full of like desserts and mm -hmm. chips and all this. Oh the chips aren't in the fridge. But you know it's a good time so honestly highly recommend. Like out of the three bites I've had, highly recommend. It's very good. It's very good. All right, this has been an update. Peace yeah. out. Hey vlog, what is up? Today we are at k -Layer. So k -Layer is located underneath Higgin, right by JSB. So like, you know, kind of in a convenient area for like living. We live in Hagen, so it's easy to come down here, but this is my first time coming here. However, um, not however, I don't know what I just said. I ordered chicken tenders and fries and it cost me $8 and I thought that was a little pricey for something I could have gotten at Champs. So um, I'm not sure if I would recommend. Definitely not a healthy option. If you're looking for a healthy option, they mostly have greasy junk food. <laughs> just fine. It's fine comfort food. Um, Christina, anything you report on your burger? I haven't tried it yet, but looking forward to it. <laughs> All right, and that is the update of Kaylair. Greasy American food. You can spend your flex dollars here. It's in a kind of a convenient location, but it's really expensive. All right, hey. Hey, vlog, what's up? Today we're at La Madeleine's. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Um, but it's right next to the 90, like on that same strip. Um, I've never been here before. It's actually quite crowded. I didn't expect it to be, but it's nice. It's a little pricey, um, but it's like got like good like sandwiches and soup and stuff. Um, it's not terribly unhealthy, but it's not also the best for you. 
Now, this place also claims to have authentic French food. Like, it says it's a French bakery. I would not say this is authentic French food. So, I'm not too sure about that. If you're looking for a French meal, don't recommend this place. But if you're looking for sandwiches and soup, good choice. Um, yeah, but I got my meal. I got a half a sandwich and soup and chips for $7. So, it's good. They both look so good. Okay, alright. Peace out, hey, vlog. <laughs> Here's everyone. We're all here. Um, <laughs> And today we're at Steak and Shake. Um, well, we were also we're at La Madeleine today, but now we're at Steak and Shake. We're on our way to the basketball game. So Steak and Shake's on North Campus, so in the direction of Red Arena. So it's a good stopping point. Um, and yeah, this is not a healthy campus option. It turns out not a lot of these places are. Um, but yeah, I got a burger and fries. I'm lactose intolerant, so I can't have shakes. But Matt is clearly enjoying his shake behind me. They all got shakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Do you guys recommend you? Why is there milk in my shake? <laughs> that, I took this up for class. Um, but yeah, so that is an update. It's also not very expensive. This cost me like four dollars for a burger and fries. Yeah, so and the it's great. high quality, good atmosphere. We're the only ones here, so we're really vibing with it. All right, this has been an update on Steak and Shake. Bye, vlog. Hey, vlog. What is up? Today we are coming to you from our dorm room because. We got our food and came back here, but we went to Freshy. There's the yes. little logo. So Freshy is in um, the Don and Kathy Jacobs Science Building, more commonly referred to as JSB. And we live in Higgins, so it's right on top, so it's convenient for us to get food there. But normally we just get smoothies. This is our first time trying food. Well, I'm trying food. I got a fiesta salad. So it's like chicken and beans and corn, and there's a bug. Um, not in my salad, in our dorm room. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the, Freshie is definitely one of the healthier options on campus. So if you're looking for a healthy option, Freshie is the place to go, although it is a little bit more expensive. That's if you get this smoothie. Like this, a salad alone, like this is a big salad for like $6, but the smoothie is like another $6. So... It's a little pricey. It's a little pricey there, but I really love smoothies, so I highly recommend. I'm having a recovery smoothie. It's dairy-free, and I'm technically lactose intolerant, so that's why I need that one. What type of smoothie do you have? Strawberry and banana. Do you it recommend? It is good. I highly recommend. It's good. Um, I really like the recovery smoothie, even if you're not dairy-free. It's good. Um, but yeah, that is Freshy. so peace out. We'll catch up with you later. Hey, vlog. Today, we went to New Health Cafe which is in the Wildcat Pantry in the Student Center. So like upstairs, if you go towards Alumni Gym, we're now drinking them right outside the cat stand down by Chick-fil-A and Subway and stuff, but also in the Student Center. I got the State Street smoothie. Did you get Ashley? I got the skip day. Yeah, so mine's like pineapple banana and mine's mm -hmm. strawberry banana. Yeah, I very much like mine. It looks really good. So basically, this is like in like a Wildcat Pantry, but you can just go in there and get like healthy smoothies. And it's not a normal Wildcat Pantry, it's like a healthy Wildcat Pantry. You can spend your flex dollars there. It's definitely one of the healthier options on campus because it's aimed towards health. I mean, you might be still be getting a little bit of sugar, but it's like got protein powder and healthy stuff like that. And it's not like fast food junk food. Yeah. But it's good, highly recommend. So this is the smaller size and I got it with like almond milk, so it cost me like a dollar extra for that. So it's like $7 instead of six. And then the bigger size is like 30, this is 20 ounces, and you can get 32 ounces, and that one was $8, I think. So not too expensive, not the cheapest either, though, but this is a very large smoothie. So it's good. Recommend. All right, peace hey, out. vlog, what is up? We are back in the same location, but we're with Christina instead of Ashley, and we're eating Panda Express. So I got orange chicken and rice, and it cost me $6. Um, so if you like Asian food, Panda Express is a good option. Oh, we're still in the student center. It's still like, you know, where the Chick-fil-A subway, all this stuff, crossing champs. Um, but yeah, this is definitely not a healthy option. So if you want healthy food, do not come to Panda Express. If you want yummy Asian food, semi-cheap. What? Semi-cheap. Semi-cheap, yeah. It's kind of, like, this is like quite a bit of food for $6, but like, you know. Um, then Panda Express is the option for you. All right, peace out. All right, hey vlog, what is up? Today we are at Papa Shushi slash Papa John's. They're in the same place, we're doing them both in one video. Everyone's here, this is like a big party today. Um, so this is still in the same little strip, like attached to the 90 with Little Madeline's and Taco Bell, Wildcat Pantry and stuff. I got sushi, I've had one so far and it is good. I can report, California roll is good. I know that's like basic. <laughs> So, um, no, I'll just talk about it. It's fine. Colson has pizza. Colson has your pizza. It's good. It's good? 
Yeah, okay, so um, pizza, not very healthy, but you know, especially when you come in like me and you just order breadsticks, which is what I do a lot. Um, sushi is better, although still not amazing depending on what type you get, but those are the health benefits. Sushi is from Japan. <laughs> um, yeah, it's kind of interesting that it's kind of a Japanese sushi craze and it can spread to Lexington. Very loud outside, but this is the vlog. All right, so this is Aki Sushi and Papa John's. Oh boy! All right, peace out. Hey, vlog. We are almost done. So today I went to Pierre's to read, and I went by myself because everyone else is in class because it's nine in the morning. But it is a little cute breakfast cafe in the Gatton Business Center, not a student center. So that's a different building. It's like over yonder, past like Patterson and Miller Hall and stuff. You probably know where it is, but. If you don't, it's like across from the engineering courtyard. <laughs> um, it's really nice in here. Beer Street is super cute. Um, lots of good choices. They do claim to be a Parisian cafe. How accurate that is. It's more accurate than the Madeleines. They do have like croissants and stuff like that. However, not all of it you would be able to eat in France. Um, or even order in France. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so I got the ham, egg, and cheese croissant breakfast sandwich. And... Uh, it is good. The first bite I had was good, so I would recommend it. Um, and everything else looked very yummy, so I would recommend this place. Um, Health-wise, everything's on a croissant, which makes it a little less healthy. But not totally terrible if you're only getting it every once in a while, because it is a yummy treat. I love bread, and I love croissants, and this is a good croissant. Um, but yeah, that is Bioshi Ori. Hey vlog, welcome back. Today we went to Chick-fil-A. <coughs> I'm close to eating an apple though, not Chick-fil-A. Um, yep, Ashley's got french fries. I also have french fries, which I, this is my favorite part of Chick-fil-A, not the chicken. Um, and Ashley has, has a sandwich. Ashley, how would you rate your sandwich? 10 out of 10. Ashley, the best food ever invented. She overhyped Chick-fil-A a lot. So I had my first Chick-fil-A when I came to UK, and it was mediocre. Like, it wasn't bad. It's like it just isn't amazing. Like, it's just a chicken sandwich, or I have chicken nuggets, which I like the nuggets more than the sandwich personally. But both are good uh, options, although both involve fried chicken and fried potatoes, so neither are all that healthy. You but get grilled nuggets. Mm -hmm. Okay, apparently you need grilled nuggets that are healthier, but still. Um, but it's good. It frequently has a long line. And it is not open on Sunday, so if you want to come eat, it is closed on Sunday. <laughs> if you want to eat Chick Fil A on Sundays, don't try. Um, but it's a good option. It's not that expensive. This cost me like six dollars for my little meal. Um, but yeah. Oh, and it's in the student center. It's in the same strip as Subway. Pay us. Our final student center location. We have one more place to go to tomorrow, and then we're done. So this is it. All right, this has been Chick-fil-A. Goodbye, vlog. Hey, vlog, what is up? We are at our very last location today. So Rising Roll, you can see on our little thing here, it says Rising Roll. We're in the engineering building, which is like across from Whitehall. You know, the big one with like the chippy thing. Looks kind of weird, kind of scary if you're not an engineering major. But it's really not that scary, and Rising Roll has great sandwich options. So they're pretty much a sandwich place, and they have lots of sandwich options. They have healthy sandwiches, they have unhealthy sandwiches. And it's not too expensive. I got a... Yeah, I got a chicken salad sandwich and chips for eight dollars. And what did you get, Christina? I got the turkey sandwich, and it was only six bucks. Yeah, so not too crazy outrageous for a pretty decent sandwich. Um, yeah, and they have drinks and coffee and salads and stuff like that. Um, muffins. The muffins looked good, but I it's past breakfast time, so we got a sandwich. Um, but yeah, this has been Rising Roll, and this has been where you can spend your flex dollars. So peace out, vlog, for the very so last that time. was everywhere that you can spend your flex dollars at the University of Kentucky, how much each place cost. Um, I really enjoyed this experiment. Ex mm -hmm. Yeah, did you? Lots of good food. Lots of good food. So I think, where was your favorite place that you went to? Um, definitely Chick-fil-A, but Chick-fil-A was already <laughs> my favorite place, so I'm a little biased. But my favorite new place was probably um, Intermezzo in Patterson mm -hmm. Office Tower. It was really good. Yeah, I really liked Intermezzo, but I also really liked Rising Roll, which you didn't go to. I went with Christina. But it was really good. Like, the sandwich I had was really good, um, and it wasn't that expensive either. So those would be our top recommendations for where to go. All right, this has been Where to Spend Your Flex Dollars. Goodbye.